What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, I guess so much for the highly anticipated reunion between well-renowned two-time trainer of the year, future Hall of Famer, Eddie Reynoso, and lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender, King Ryan Ryan Garcia, who is now 23 wins, one loss, no draws, 19 wins by way of knockout, 24 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. With that said, Ryan Garcia is coming off the first loss of his career. He was knocked out in the seventh round to the body, a liver punch, dropped twice in the fight. In the highly anticipated showdown, he had April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T Mobile Arena against undefeated three-division world champion superstar Bassa, who is now 29 wins, no loss, and no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout, 28 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach, that being none other than Javante Tang Davis. With that said, Tang Davis, he dropped Ryan Garcia in the second round of their fight, and then he dropped him and stopped him to the seventh, in the seventh round to the body. With that said, Ryan Garcia, he parted ways, from his then well-renowned trainer, Hall of Famer, and icon Joe Goosen, who trained him for his last three fights. His fight with Emmanuel Tagu, his fight with Javier Fortuna, and his fight with Javante Tang Davis. And then after his loss to Javante Tang Davis, Joe Goosen was nowhere to be found. He didn't participate in the post-fight press conference he completely disappeared. No interviews. He didn't discuss the fight. He just went MIA. And Ryan Garcia then, a week later, decided that he was going to publicly fire Joe Goosen. And that's what he did. And there was talks that Ryan Garcia reached back out to the man who used to train him. And that's Eddie Reynoso, who trains multiple world champions. Ryan Garcia has never fought for a world title, so obviously... He's never won a world title. Eddie Reynoso, he trains four division world champion, who's the undisputed super middleweight world champion, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He also trains two, two division world champion, Mexican superstar Basa Oscar Valdez. He trains a multitude of fighters. So with that said, he did train Ryan Garcia at one point in time. And Ryan Garcia, he then claimed that Eddie Reynoso, because of the high profile fighters that he trains like Canelo and Oscar Valdez. And he was training Andy Ruiz Jr., who was a former world champion in heavyweight. And he also trained Frank uh, Sanchez and just multiple fighters. And so Ryan Garcia said that Eddie Reynoso didn't have the time to give to him. So he parted ways to which Canelo Alvarez responded by saying, that's the furthest thing from the truth. The fact remains is that Ryan Garcia was not committed to the sport of boxing and he would show up at two o'clock after he told Eddie Reynoso he'll be there at 12 and then he would leave 30 minutes later. So with that said, Canelo Alvarez, he had a fight this past weekend where he fought John Ryder and Canelo Alvarez was asked about it and he said that's up to Eddie Reynoso. He's the trainer. I'm just a fighter. But Ryan Garcia has to commit to it. Eddie Reynoso then went on to say he will welcome the opportunity to train Ryan Garcia again if he's committed. He saw a little bit of changes in him. And now Eddie Reynoso, he has doubled back. And now he's saying it's extremely hard to train Ryan Garcia because the only thing Ryan Garcia is, con is uh, concerned with is the cameras and social media. He's not committed to the sport of boxing. He says, as you're trying to train Ryan Garcia, He'll tell you one day he'll be there to train. Then the next day he's flying over to Vegas. And then the next day after that, he's flying to L.A. And then the next day after that, he's flying to New York. And it's all concerned with building his brand outside the sport of boxing. He says he lo loses complete focus of the sport of boxing itself. And he's extremely difficult to train because of that. He's not committed. To training he's not committed to the sport of boxing like many people speculate this is not nothing new 
Many people have been saying that Ryan Garcia is not committed. He is a social media superstar that happens to box and happened to been boxing his entire life. Now help give him exposure and he has endorsement deals and things of that nature. But Ryan Garcia boxing is not his first commitment. And now he's found his uh, religion and a new path and walk in life as well. So that's also something that's taken Ryan Garcia away from committing to the sport of boxing. And if you have that mindset, when you're dealing with Hall of Famers and guys like Eddie Reynoso, Joe Goosen, you know, well-renowned trainers, Derek James, uh, Ronnie Shields. When you're dealing with trainers like that who take it 1,000% serious, they're not going to tolerate that behavior from Ryan Garcia, and not at least not on their watch. They would rather part ways. That's why it was surprising that Joe Goosen, he stated, you don't train Ryan Garcia, you just partner with him. And he's already uh, has his own philosophy and his ways of doing things. And the problem I had with Joe Goosen making those statements, now I feel like he was being sarcastic, hindsight. But the problem I have is that Joe Goosen was saying how much of a genius and how much of a commitment Ryan Garcia has made to the sport of boxing in his camp leading up into this mega showdown with Javante Tank Davis, knowing that not to be the case. That's the issue I had because his reputation and his brand and his name was on the line and he ran with it. He allowed people to think that Ryan Garcia was training when we knew and we got word that he was only showing up to the gym with Joe Goose in Monday, Wednesday and Fridays for sparring. He can't get sparring at his house like he wants to. He can't, uh, you know, uh, get the fighters to come uh, and commit to it like he wants to. He trains at his house. Even his media day workout for this highly anticipated fight with Tank Davis was simply at Ryan Garcia's friend's house. Media workout was at Ryan Garcia's friend's house in the backyard. Okay. Everybody else, Tank Davis did it in the gym. Everybody does it in the gym. He did it in the backyard of his friend's house. Not even his house. Not at a boxing gym, but in the backyard of his friend's house where they catered tacos and food. He's not committed to the sport of boxing. He's very distracted from the sport of boxing. He's committed to his brand, building his name up, as he should. But two things can be true. He can build up his brand as well as build up uh, his resume and his profile in the sport of boxing. But it's very difficult because boxing is a very lonely sport that if you have to, to dedicate your entire life to, it's a very dangerous sport. And if you're not fully committed and fully ready to dominate, you know, uh, and, and, and make sacrifices, the sport of boxing is not for you. And that's the problem that Ryan Garcia has. He's not fully committed. He doesn't want to sacrifice his brand. He don't want to sacrifice his social media. He don't want to sacrifice his namesake because he feels like that's bigger than the sport of boxing. Yeah, it will outlast the sport of boxing. But if you have a legacy in the sport of boxing and build both, well, it's going to take you an even longer way, right? But Ryan Garcia, he just simply cannot find a happy medium for both. And that's what's stopping Ryan Garcia from being great. All the talent, all the tools. He's lacking, obviously, he's physically challenging the foot speed department. But Ryan Garcia has a lot of tools in the toolbox. He would just rather, much rather focus on the tools he can identify with, which is his hand speed and power. Everything else he feels like he can get away with just using those two tools in the toolbox to fix everything. And he quickly found out that's not the case because there was a challenge that he needed to build up to and he couldn't overcome it because he only had and was familiar with two tools out the toolbox and he needed to be familiar and make adjustments. He wasn't able to do that. And he paid the ultimate price and suffered the first loss in his career. So Eddie Reynoso, he's making it clear that Ryan Garcia is extremely difficult to work with. And after seeing these comments, I don't know how much of a commitment Ryan Garcia is going to make to Eddie Reynoso. Well, maybe this wakes him up. Maybe this is what he needs to get him motivated and say, listen, I need to lock in. He did say that he was going to lock in, make some changes. He did stand on his square and acknowledge that he made tons of mistakes and wasn't committed and was inexperienced and wasn't prepared for this moment. 
but talk is cheap. We got to see him actually commit to it. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out moving forward for Ryan Garcia. But uh, many trainers are not going to want to train with him if this to be the case. But follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. It's your boy Blue signing off. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gone. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.